Greetings, and welcome to episode 3 of Canopy Carnage. As you can see, I have done a little bit of work here. I dug up some sand, cooked up some glass, and I repaired the Victory Monument, got rid of that ugly wood. There was some torches up there. I got some glowstone out of one of the shacks over there and replaced them. And now the thing looks like it's supposed to, complete with the white and blue wool in place. And I've also been through this place, the stuff that was in the chests upstairs. I brought that and the chests down here, and I've kind of put together a little workstation here. I've got uh, diamond armor, coal, wood, and assorted things along with torches here. In here I've got weapons, tools, armor, arrows, a spare bow, and some more string. I'll be making more spare bows as I come up with more string. Oops. In here, assorted miscellaneous blocks, the TNT that was up there, the sand, the gunpowder, plus a little bit more that I've gotten from creepers. I brought the white wool in, and some more cobblestone and moss stone, and so on. And, oops, excuse me, I brought the furnace that was upstairs down, too, and brought it in. Foodstuffs and so on here. Here is the clay and stuff that was up there. Now, I have made use of upstairs. I went ahead, and while I was up there, I cut a hole in the floor and installed this ladder for easier access so that I don't have to go climbing all around the building. I have brown mushrooms growing here. I have a wheat farm over there. In here I have red mushrooms growing. And everything is pretty well set. Everything else of use or need, value, whatever I've uh, pulled out of here and brought downstairs. And I've also been a little bit busy outside. Well, first of all, I went back to the uh, to that original hole in the water base, and I brought the rest of the wood that I had back there and cobble. And uh, I was looking around. Uh, I went on land over there to pick up some more wood, and in the process, I also picked up the chests that were there on the way back that I had found, and a bunch of pumpkins. And as I was doing that, I started clearing the brush in the area. And it occurred to me that I should clear the brush around here because it provides cover for mobs. It makes it harder to spot them. And uh, so I've been doing that, clearing the brush, putting torches in place. And in the process, I found something kind of cool. This tree. Take a good look at that. There's iron ore in that tree. Apparently quite a bit of it. And iron is going to be valuable in terms of armor and tools. So I propose to harvest that tree. Let's see, I'm going to have to go back in and get an axe. Oh, come on. i got to fill in these holes in the ground. The holes were there where bush was planted over the top of, uh, you know, like one buried log. All right, tools. Axe. Uh, let's see, there are no doubt going to be... That's not a very good shape. Let's replace it. I'm going to go ahead and use this gold one because there's nothing that says I shouldn't. Whoa! Look at what that did for my armor. Cool. Alright. Okay, let's go harvest that tree. See things like this, underneath of it there's a block of wood so that it won't vanish. I've 
I've never seen a tree with iron ore in it before. But I'll take it. And yes, I hear the zombies. Or skeletons, excuse me. I heard a creeper. The unmistakable hiss of a creeper taking damage. So let's back off a little bit, get a better look. This is why I want to get rid of this brush. So I can see what the heck is going on. There's obsidian in this tree, too. Diamond tools would make a lot possible. Getting closer to the skeletons. Apparently I've got a good position here to snipe at them. Plentiful supply of these guys. It's night. Let's come back in the morning. I think that's a wise idea. Alright, let's see here. Alright, I'm going to sleep till day. Recoup some health and go at it again. Maybe I can get that thing lit up enough so that All right, I got plenty of arrows. Everything is good. I just need to get 
some serious lighting up going on. And disable those spawners. Iron block, it looks like. Good grief, the place is littered with spawners. Okay, that didn't go so well. That didn't go so well at all. Attacking spawners from below, as I have learned the hard way, is a mistake. It is always a mistake, and I am attacking these guys from below. So I need to get into that tree from above. And have the height advantage. And I think that I can do that. Let's get another stack of blocks. Uh, is cobble. Plenty of cobblestone. All right, good. Go up here where the wall is. Just go up. Go to the corner of the wall. And the idea is to get into the middle of that tree from above. iron ore. That's going to prove invaluable for tools and armor. And if diamond can be had around here, there is a boatload of obsidian just in this tree alone. spawner area lit up a little bit at least. Let's 
go back up. Got the axe still, so let's use it. Okay, I've got torches right over that spawn. That should help shut it down. It's just a matter of getting rid of the guys that have come out of it already. And that might be a matter of just back off, let them despawn, light up the exterior of this tree. Let me do something about that. Yeah. Get the area out here lit up so that they can't go spawning outside. Oh, crap. Well, that was a classically fantastic dumb move. Okay. I jumped right down in the middle of that mess. Okay. Let's get some more torches in the area. Strategic exit. At least back off to where I can get a shot at them. Okay, where you at? You didn't give up that easy. through the cactus and maybe they'll follow it. Unless I manage to kill myself on the cactus. Okay, 
It's getting dark, and I'm just trying to find the way back inside now. Oh, damn. The last thing I need is slimes. Heading back inside. Reevaluate the situation here. Okay, I've got a bunch of torches in where the spawners are. And uh, let's see. Torches in with the spawners. Give those guys a chance to despawn. And then uh, take another shot in there. Try to get more torches in there and around there so that. Nothing can spawn in there. And then I can see the potential for a fantastic trap because there's got to be two or three spawners in there. All right. Let's grab some daylight. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Give everything in there a chance to despawn and then start fresh in the morning. All right. We've got the next day. I've re-equipped a little bit here. And gotten ready. So let's see if we can do something with this place. I think I managed to put a few torches on the inside of that thing on the way down. I know I had them set. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Creeper! I saw him just at the last second. All right. Shall we try this again? encouraging is I don't hear any mobs. Alright, let's go up and have a look. If anything's going to spawn, it'll do it now. Skeleton, skeleton, another skeleton, okay, three skeleton spawners, you imagine the arrow trap can be made with that? And let's not forget, iron block. first one can be for the monument. The rest of them, I want. Alright, let's get some wood going on here. Open this place up to daylight. I hear a spider. Where are you? Creeper spawner over there, too. Oh, this trap is going to be fucked. 
This trap is gonna be epic. There's three skeleton spawners and a creeper spawner in close proximity. That is gonna be one heck of a trap. Meanwhile, I'm gonna open the sides of this place up to daylight for insurance. See you, creeper. All right. There, oh, there you are. Excellent. More string for the bow. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. After I learn to walk without tripping over myself and falling off of things, I'm going to uh, pretty much strip this tree down of all the wood and iron I can get out of it. And then, I'm going to build a trap around those spawners. And I will have all the arrows, bones, and gunpowder I could ever need. There is sand around here, so TNT is a possibility. And as I understand it, TNT is murder on spawners. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Put together a new axe or two, and a new pick or three, or whatever. And I'm basically going to go up to the top of this tree, and I'm going to strip this sucker down all the way to the ground. Leave the spawners where they are, obviously, because I don't have a choice with that. And then, in the next episode, there will be a four-way spawner trap. Three skeleton spawners and a creeper spawner in a trap. All in one trap. That should be freaking epic. That is going to be great. Plus, in the process, I'm going to end up with a whole lot of iron. Oh. Is there a spider spawner around here somewhere, maybe? You think? I think. All right. I will see you in the next episode. In the meantime, I'm going to get busy stripping that tree down. Take it easy. I'm out of here. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's get this block of iron on the Victory Monument. There. Looking better. Alright, I'm out of here for real this time.